With this fall's log inoculations, we decided to compare the efficiency of two inoculation tools we obtained from Okudo Shitake against the thumb style brass inoculation tool. With the semi-automatic gun, a simple press of the trigger fills the inoculation site and seals it with a styrofoam cap. Observe that the operator has checked the spawn fill rate with his finger to make sure it is properly filled, and it certainly is. Sawda spawn from a reservoir is shot through a tube at high pressure into the drilled hole. The inoculation rate is about one hole per second or so. Fill rate is dependent upon the operator's hand-to-eye coordination. This tool is also available with a hot wax sealing option. In this footage we view the manual spawn gun at work. The operator is gently tapping the tool into the spawn twice for the proper fill. And upon pressing the tool handle downward, the hole is filled and a styrofoam cap is seated. Proper fill is indicated by the cap being flush with the bark surface. A hole can be filled every two or so seconds. The styrofoam caps for both tools come in strips so that the loading is easy and one cap is placed per shot of spawn. To my simple mind, this is truly an engineering marvel. Here we have an inoculation race, and they're off! It would appear that the pneumatic spawn gun will be the winner by at least a log length. While the thumb style tool tries to outdistance the manual spawn gun for a second place finish, it is evident that Though the operator is handicapped by having to lean to get to the other end of the log, the thumb style tool will clearly be the third place finisher as the inoculated log will still have to be waxed. The question is, how well does this work? A peek under the covers shows that the spawn has recovered and is actively colonizing the logs. We look forward to the summer of 2015 when we'll be able to reap the bounty that these logs have to offer.